All right, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back. We'll get the people back in there. We'll get the people back in there. Shouts out to all the new people. Shouts out to all the people that been here. If you was already here, big ups to you. If you wasn't already here, we're talking about depression and ways to fix depression and how we can stop depression from happening. So, uh, going back to what I was saying, right? Um, like once again, shouts out to all the new people. Shouts out to everybody that just came in. Shouts out to everybody that's understanding this. All right. So, going back to what we was talking about, right? You could be in the street having fun. You could be in the middle of the street enjoying your life. And it'll always be somebody who hate everything about enjoyment that is designed to try to stop you. It's always the people that, that, that hate happiness, right? We have a lot of people that walk through this world that hate to see anyone happy, right? A lot of people that walk through the world that hate to see people happy, but you got to understand it's not about them. It's not, about, it's about you, right? It's always about you. It's about how you see the world. It's about how you obtain the world. It's about how, I mean, it's about how you obtain your own happiness and how you see your own happiness. So once again, right? Uh, Like I said, you know, like my man Reg, right? Let's take my man Reg. My man Reg is from Detroit, right? My man Reg never learned how to swim, never, never, right? All right, let me let me break some down to y'all. Let me break let me break some down to y'all. Just this is off subject, but this is just kind of like my character and who I am as a person, and stuff like this helps me fight depression, right? All right, so my man Reg, right? He, you y'all see him pop up on here, you blue moon. Reg was once a person in the comments, right? He was a person I never knew. I don't know this man. He lived in the other side of the world in Detroit. He was a regular person in the comments. So, Reg stumbled across some of my videos. I don't really know exactly how, but I started seeing his name pop up in the comments a lot. And, um, you know, I used to talk about all this stuff. Like, I just started going live on my gram talking about this shit. But I've been talking about this shit on my Periscopes and my other lives, like Tiny Chat and all that shit for years, right? But, um, so Reg used to come on my Periscope a lot. And, um, you know, he just always just get the information. You feel me? He's just sit there and he's just listen to the information. You feel me? And so one day, uh, I did a blog about, you know... <laughs> Uh, one day I did a blog about um, um, just upping and leaving. You know what I mean? Just like taking a chance to uh, taking a chance to just like just leave. Like whatever scenario you owe you in, and you feel like it's not right, just get out of that scenario and like kind of restart your game. So I gave a whole scenario about like you know like move to California. I told a lot of people, yo, if you don't like where you at, move to California, right? Come to fuck to California. I'll do everything I can to help you get in a better situation. I told people this. Move to California, right? California, California is the only place you can be a successful homeless person. You can be homeless in California. You can be actually homeless. You can actually be a bum that is on vacation for eternity in California. You can move to California and live at the beach. Like, I don't think y'all understand how this works, right? You can move to California and live at the beach. You can be homeless at a beautiful beach for the rest of your life. Nigga, you can be on permanent vacation for the rest of your life in California. Permanent. Like, literally, like, our homeless niggas are having the best time of their life. Nigga, they lay down at the beach, they ask for money, they ask for food, they get food for the day, they get enough money for the day, and then they go swimming. Nigga, that's God. That's amazing. Like, these are homeless niggas. Nigga, you can be homeless at the beach. Right? Homeless. Like, you can be homeless. I was homeless, and I lived at the beach for a couple of years. It was amazing. I'm actually, I actually regret buying this fucking apartment. I regret it. Only reason why I got it because my fucking girl so programmed. Oh, we need a house. You know, we got children. We need a roof over the head. I'm like, oh. So, you know, sometimes you got to cope with the program. But if I ain't had no fucking kids, 
Nigga, I would have a mobile home or I have motherfucking something. Nigga, I'd be at the fucking beach every day if I'd have had no fucking kids and I wasn't with somebody that lived by these rules, right? So, um, nigga, you fucking roll up. Nigga, you got to think California, dog, it very rarely get cold. Even when it get cold, it ain't that cold. It ain't cold as New York, nigga. It ain't snowing and shit. It ain't cold as Canada, zero degrees. Nigga, it's going to get about 50, 30. Nigga, the lowest it's going to get, nigga, is about... 65, 75. Nigga, you better put on a couple of jackets, nigga, lay your bitch ass on a rock or something, nigga. Nigga, wait till the sun rise. But look, all right, so I gave another solution, right, in California, right? I gave another solution. You could live in California for $19 a month. $19 a month. Actually, I'm going to break this down to you. You could be homeless, right? You could panhandle $19. You can get $19 a month. You can panhandle for $19 a month. All you have to do is get a membership at 24 Hour Fitness. Right? 24 Hour Fitness. We have things out here called 24 Hour Fitness. They're $19 a month, probably $17 if you catch them on a special. You can literally live there. You can work out. You can go swimming. You can sit in a jacuzzi. You can sit in the sauna. You can play basketball. You can do all type of shit for 24 hours a fucking day, every day. So all you need is a 24-hour fitness membership, and then you hop your bitch ass on the train and go to the beach. So this is what you can do. You can go to the beach all day. Listen to what I'm telling y'all, people. You can go to the beach all day, hop your bitch ass back on the train, and go to 24-hour fitness, work out a little more, go get in the jacuzzi, go get in the sauna. You can chill, lay the back, dog, in the sauna. Chill, lay back, nigga. And it's going to be some bad bitches there because all the bad bitches working out, all the buff niggas working out. So you might find a bad bitch or a fine-ass nigga. So, boom, you chill in the sauna. You feel me? Nigga, you go play basketball, do whatever you going to do, my nigga. And then... Nigga, take your bitch ass back to the beach tomorrow. Dog, this is heaven. All right. So, I told Reg, I said, yo, Reg, just get out here, dog. I got you. Right? I told everybody, right? I got I got a group called 30 Squads, right? 30 Squads is filled up with, like, people that I really fuck with. So, I told Reg, I'm like, Reg. Reg hit me like, yo, man, it's hard out here. I don't know what the fuck to do, dog. I don't know what the fuck to do. It's snowing. Nigga, I can't even get to work. It's all. I'm like, Reg, get the fuck out of there. He like, yo, nigga, I need a way to make some bread or something. I'm like, look, Reg, there's only two things you could do while you in Detroit. While you in Detroit, either you could start selling snowmans. I told, I told Reg this. I'm like, yo, sell snowmans, dog. Fuck it. Nigga, all that snow, nigga, you better put that shit to use. Nigga, sell snowmans. He was like, bro, I'm, bro, my nigga, you better be on the corner, nigga. I got so snowmans for sale, nigga, shit. It's all this fucking snow. So he like, man, uh, you know, but his his little thing, his little thing, he, it wouldn't let him sell because he was still kind of under the program. So he wouldn't sell the snowmans. He was like, I ain't about to sell no snow. He probably would have made dummy bread selling snowmans. Nigga, you know how many kids rolling by on the freeway? And they see some snowmans. And they, mommy, I want a snowman. Mommy, please. Mommy, mommy, please buy me a snowman. Mommy, please buy me a snowman. Man, Reg could have been out there selling snowman. But anywho, I said, Reg, look. It's cold as fuck in Detroit. It ain't nothing you could do. It's hard as fuck to get to work. Nigga, the, the living settings is on all Madden. Yo, Reg, you got to get the fuck out of Detroit, dog. Come to California, my nigga. Just come, dog. Just get on a fucking plane and come. Just get the fuck out of there. Come. I told everybody this. Just come, dog. It might be hard, but just get the fuck out here. So Reg came, right? Reg came. Boom. He out here. Remind you, this motherfucker I don't know. Listen to me, y'all. This is a... Remind you, this ain't a regular nigga. This is a dark-skinned nigga from Detroit. That automatically spells danger. Right? This ain't just a regular nigga. You feel me? This is a dark skinned nigga, like the color black from Detroit. I don't like, nigga, I don't know. This nigga kind of crazy. But fuck it. You know, I'm crazy too. Nigga, you want to get crazy? Nigga, we can get crazy. So, boom. All right. Reg move out to Cali. We link up. 
You feel me? You know, I'm like, all right, dog, figure it out. You out here now, figure it out. I got you, but I ain't going to just get you. You feel me? Dude? Figure it out. You feel me? Just figure it out. You know, so Reg maneuvering, you know, figuring it out, the maneuver, you feel me? So, bam. All right. Reg came through. I said, look, bro, you know, shit get hard. Shit get kind of rough. You feel me, nigga? You could crash in my spot. You feel me, nigga? We don't got too much in here, nigga. I got a few covers, nigga. A blanket, a blue, you feel me? Some top ramen. I don't got too much in my... You come to my house, I don't got too much. I don't got furniture. I don't got couches and shit. And nothing. I don't got nothing in my house. Nothing. I got a bed or two on the floor. Nigga, feel me? A computer. I don't got too much in my house. Be like, all right, boom. So Reg come crash at the house. You feel me? Stay with me for about a month, month or so. You feel me? All right, boom. You feel me? Help Reg get his job. You feel me? Help Reg get a little everything. You feel me? Taking him to where we got to go, all type of shit. Boom, boom, boom. So Reg, now Reg is almost in a position to where life is going to be good for him. But the simple fact is he took the chance. He jumped, right? I felt like that was like when, when, when Morpheus told Neo, jump across the roof, bro. Just jump. Reg jump, dog. Reg jump. He jumped. Now Reg lives in Laguna fucking the Gales. Go Google Laguna the Gales. Go Google it. There's a nigga. There's a nigga who was in Detroit in the snow a couple of months ago. Now nigga live in Laguna in the Gales. Go Google it. Go Google Laguna and the Gales. Nigga live in a nice apartment with some very dope people. All these niggas is fucking IT tech graphic designers and shit. Nigga got his life in a very good situation right now, dog. Hey Reg, don't DM them niggas, dog. Them niggas, I, don't don't do it, Reg. Don't answer. Don't trust them niggas, Reg. I'm telling you, niggas gonna try to come out here and move with you, nigga. Fuck your shit up. Don't do it. Don't do it, Reg. That nigga was in my DMs too. I'm fucking with you. But no, nah, look. So my thing is this, right? So Reg got out here, right? Let me tell you what happened with Reg. Reg got out here, right? And um He was crying. Like, I felt him crying. Reg, don't don't act like you wasn't crying. You was crying. One day I felt him crying. He was crying. He was just sad, thinking about all the shit. His mind just wondering. You feel me? Nigga, he didn't have his other job. Nigga, he didn't know what he was going to do. He was crying like a motherfucker. I felt every single tear. Because that's the thing about me, right? When I'm friends with somebody, I connect to you mentally. Like when I'm friends with you, I'm I'm like Wi-Fi to you, like like Bluetooth connected to all my friends. I can feel every one of their emotions, every friend that I got that that is very close to me. I can feel all of their emotions. I'm connected to them, Bluetooth. So I felt rage. I'm like he's sad as fuck. Like there's a lot going on in his mind. There's a lot to grasp. Times is hard. You got to figure out what the fuck he gonna do. He really don't know what he gonna do. And I had to tell him, hey, bro, you being greedy. You being fucking greedy. Nigga, you in California. In the, not only are you in California, you in the Laguna Niguel's. One of the fucking best places there is in California. You ain't just in L.A., nigga. You ain't in Los Angeles. You in Laguna Niguel's. You live in the Laguna Niguel's, the best place in California. Like literally one of the best places to ever live. Nigga, you don't see all these trails. Nigga, you don't see all these motherfucking hikes and walks. Nigga, you better get your bitch ass outside. Get your motherfucking ass outside, nigga. Fuck you in the house for. Ridge is in the house. Nigga, why are you in the house? In the, nigga, you better get this Detroit ass mind state out of your motherfucking mind. Nigga, it ain't snowing. You better take your bitch ass outside and walk. So boom, you feel me, Reg get a new job, right? 
Remind you, his new job may be about five miles away from his house. So, Reg, walk to work, dog. You don't got to catch the bus, walk. So, Reg walked four miles to work every day. Four miles to work and four miles home. And it is the greatest feeling he ever had. He called me every day, nigga writing. Nigga came and spit a verse. It was crazy. I'm like, yo, this nigga Reg getting good and shit. It's because your mind, dog. When you start to get outside of the house, your mind start to. It's the house that keep your mind closed, dog. It's the facilities that keep your mind closed. When you get out in this world, dog, you just understand this world. You walk, you get time to think to yourself, you get time to process, dog. It is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing, dog. You get your energy up, dog. You get your endurance up. Look, I'm going to break some down to y'all, right? I'm going to break some down to y'all right now. And this is the craziest shit ever that you ever could think about. But it's actual facts, right? Life has cheat codes, right? All right. So in the cheat code, in the video game, up, up. Down, down, left, right, kick, punch, kick can be a cheat code to unlimited health, right? Or it can be a cheat code to get your health up, right? Inside a video game, that can be a cheat code. But in all actuality, inside of life, that same cheat code applies to your health. If you actually jump two times, squat two times, Lean left and right and punch, kick, punch. You'll literally get in better shape. If you actually do this, you'll literally get in better shape. You'll actually get more health. That's an actual cheat code in real life. It's an actual cheat code in real life. If you actually jump two times, squat. Two times. Left, right, left. Punch, kick, punch. It's an actual real life cheat code. You'll actually get more energy. Bruh. All you gotta do is fucking exercise a tad bit of walks. Just the walks. Just the walks, my grow, get the fuck out the house. That's why when I read, whenever I do read, I don't read in no motherfucking house. I think I go right outside and read. Read. Sometimes I go to the park by myself, nigga, and just run on, nigga, slide down the slide. People be looking at me like I'm crazy. Fuck you looking at me like I'm crazy for a bitch. I ain't got to fucking do grown-up shit. They got to be swinging on the monkey bars, nigga. Nigga running up and just slide down the slide. Nigga doing all the little kid shit. Fuck you looking at me like I'm crazy for a nigga. Ain't no age limit at the park, bitch. What's wrong with you? Bitch mad at me because I'm on the slide. And I'm taking up all the slide from the kids. I don't care, bitch. I'm having fun. fuck you talking about it is no age limit at the park this shit does not say for children only niggas say anybody could play at the park bitch i'm gonna climb up all the monkey bars fuck you talking about look i figured it out you gotta continuously do the things you did when you was a kid see when you start growing up and you start doing all the grown-up shit that's when depression kick in start working Start just doing all the regular grown up shit. Uh, trying to be all grown. I'm too grown to do these things. That's when the shit kick in. Nah, bro. You got to start doing all the shit you did when you was a fucking kid, nigga. You play high. You know what I want to do? You know what the fuck I want to do? I want to play high go seat. Fuck the bullshit. Let's play high go seat. We need to have a national fucking hide and go seat day. Like how they got fucking. Motherfucking Gay Pride Day. They got motherfucking nigga Bob Marley Weed 420. We need motherfucking National Hide and Go Seek Day. Like every September 1st, niggas hide and go seek. Nigga, National 
hide and go seek day, nigga. Shit got to feel like the purge. And then, if you want to play, you feel me, like around, nigga, 12.30, 4.30, nigga, high go get it night. You feel me, for the grown-ups. Don't act like y'all niggas that play high go get it. You remember that? You remember some of y'all bitches never run. Y'all just got caught because y'all wanted to get humped. You feel me? They play high, go get it nigga, later. Nigga. All right, all right, kids, go in the house. Go in the house, kids. Grown ups are going to stay outside. Go in the house. You go play your iPads. But, Mom, I thought we were. Now go play the iPads. Get in here. Play the iPads. You feel me? Look at shit. All right. You feel me? You remember those days, nigga. Now, see, look. Y'all forgot. See, y'all niggas so depressed and old. Y'all don't even remember. Y'all niggas forgot it. Y'all y'all so old and depressed. Y'all forgot all about how I go get it. You feel like a high go freak, nigga, all that. Nigga, we need to start playing Ding Dong Ditch. Nigga, we need to start playing all the shit that we used to play, nigga. Fuck that. Nigga, all the fun shit, nigga. Freeze tag. Nigga, you remember freeze tag? Nigga, you know what we need to play? Nigga, red light, green light. Have y'all ever played red light, green light? Red light. Green light. Red light. Green light. Yellow light. Red light. Nigga, what? Nigga, we need to bring all of that shit back. Fuck we all acting like we grown for. Like we can't fucking have fun no more. Fuck we acting like what we... Nigga, we need to play dodgeball. Nigga, we need to play tetherball. Remember, hey, bitches used to be very good. All the girls used to always win at tetherball. I, I noticed that. I really think, now that I think about it, tetherball was officially a female sport. Girls knew how to play tetherball better than ever. <laughs> Nigga, I never could beat girls at tetherball. Never. 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 I think that's the one sport that they had all niggas beat at, tetherball. Nigga, I could never beat the girls at tetherball. Never, nigga, never. Nigga, they had like a certain hand motion. Bang! Nigga, never. Nigga, we need to have, you know what we need to have? We need to have a National Olympic for all the old school games. Like, it's an Olympics, though. It's like every certain year is the Olympics. It's a high go seek, high go seek Olympics. You feel me? Oh, these are all the games in the Olympics. High go seek, nigga, tetherball, nigga, hopscotch, nigga, kickball. Nigga, remember kickball? Fuck baseball. Why we don't got a professional kickball lead? No, I'm not talking about soccer. Why we don't got a professional kickball lead? I had some homies that was nice at kickball, bro. I'm talking about I had some homies that was very, niggas kicking home runs, dog. I had homies kicking home, kick the ball way over the gate. Why we don't got a professional kickball lead? Kickball was fire, my nigga. Yo, kickball was literally... Nigga used to know how to... Remember you used to, you used to do the little motherfucking curveball pitch where when the ball hit the ground, turn the other way? Nigga, kickball was literally fire, bro. Look, man. We got to bring this shit back, dog. You got... All right, think about this, right? I want you to really think about this. Depression didn't exist back then. I don't think there was no such thing as depression back then. I don't I don't believe depression even exists back then. It was no such thing. Depression didn't exist back then. Because we was out having fucking fun. It didn't exist because we was fucking having fun. It didn't 
fucking exist because we were in the fucking street having fun. Oh, third, I forgot my boy Third Eye from nigga, that nigga from nigga, uh, Assyria, nigga, nigga from nigga, Planet X, Nibiru, alien ass nigga. That nigga Third Eye, that nigga got tentacles and shit. But, you feel, alright, we gotta explain to my boy Third Eye, because he clearly a Nephilim. You feel me? Alright, my boy Third Eye. So what kickball is, it's like baseball, except it's a soccer ball. They have like a soccer, not even, it wasn't even a soccer ball, it's like a volleyball type of vault ball. It's so like a volleyball, and it's designed just like baseball. You just got to kick the ball. You got to pitch it the same way, and you get to kick it the same way, the same way. Right? It's like baseball. Right? You feel me? I know they don't play this on your planet. You feel me? But look at it. Hey. So it's like baseball. It's just, It worked the same way like baseball. You feel me? Same way. It's like baseball kickball, though. Like kicking the ball, but it's like baseball. Right? And it's crazy because, like, my nigga, look, bro. It used to be crazy. My nigga, I used to be chewing gum and all that like a real kickball player. Nigga, come to the base. Nigga, shit. nigga, kickball was, nigga, it was real. Nigga, we was professional. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. We was going to the kickball league, dog. It was, like, I knew for a fact I was going to be a professional kickball player. Like, for a fact, dog. It was crazy, dog. It was crazy. Like, kickball was crazy, dog. It was fun. It was the funnest shit ever. Kickball, just doing all the kid shit, dog. Like all the kid shit was fun. All we got, we can't let this shit go, dog. Look, they trying to destroy us with taking that away from us. They taking away what it means to have fun and creating artificial fun. Video games, like video games, uh, little nigga. Fuck niggas, be like, yo, have you played Fortnite? No, I never played Fortnite. I don't care. We got to get the fuck out the house, man. Getting the fuck out the house, dog. Let's just play fucking tag. Oh, they don't know. If, hey. They don't know about the big lead, dog. Big lead was legendary, dog. If you if you talking big lead, bubblegum, you on a whole nother legend status. You on if you talking big league bubblegum, you on a whole nother legend status. That that's like that touch a specific thing inside of my heart. Talk about big league. Bruh. And on top of that, right? On top of us being outside, we had movies that that dedicated us to being outside. You remember when the Sandlot first came out? Do you remember when The Sandlot first came out? The movie The Sandlot. Dog, The Sandlot might be the greatest child movie ever. Y'all might not be old enough. The Sandlot literally is the greatest childhood. Like It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, the most classic movie ever. The Sandlot. It's the best movie ever as a child. The Sandlot, it, it, no, it, it don't get no better than that. The feeling that you get from the movie, The Sandlot, it make you want to go outside with your squad and nigga play basketball or baseball or, or it make you want to get out the house with your squad, dog. The Sandlot was fire, dog. It was fire. It was very fire, dog. Benny Rogers to get chased by the dog, dude, it was fire. The Sandlot was, it was fire, dog. Lil Giants, The Sandlot, The Mighty Duck, like all of that shit, dog, like squad movies. These are squad goals. This was squad goals back then. Back then, squad goals was like, nigga, get your team, nigga, we out here, nigga, we about to go run it. That was squad goals. Now, squad goals is, nigga, me and my bros turned up. Look at us, nigga, we got double cups. That's squad goals now. 
Nigga, everybody in my everybody in my squad got a bottle. That squad goes now. Back then was nigga, get your motherfucking squad, nigga. We out here in the fucking field, dog. The Goonies, my nigga. Think about think about the Goonies. These niggas is little kids who went on a mission. Think about that, dog. The Goonies. The Goonies was little kids who went on a fucking mission, dog. Every my fault. But yeah, everything about back then, it was designed for you to get the fuck out the house, dog. Everything was designed for you to get the fuck out the house. Everything. Get out the house. Just fucking get out the fucking house, man. Get out the house. Get the fuck out the house. Now, 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 think about this, right? Now, as we all thinking back to these movies, do you remember being depressed back then? Like, as you sit here and think back then, do you remember even being depressed? Do you remember what depression was? There was no such thing. There was no such thing. Nigga, remember, bruh, do you remember when climbing trees was a thing to do? When the last time you seen a fucking kid climb a tree? Do you remember when climbing trees was a fun thing? Like, nigga, like, yo, that tree dope, nigga, I'm gonna see if I can climb that shit. Bruh, we found ways to not, like, we didn't, it didn't, depression didn't exist. It didn't exist, dog. Depression didn't exist. We have lost our ways, dog. We think that we're getting smarter. So we got technology, we got all this shit. Nah, dog, we destroying, we destroying ourselves, dog. Listen to me, we destroying ourselves, creek walks, all that shit, dog. Destroying ourselves, we need to get back to these ways. We need to get back to these type of ways. We need to get back to our people skill ways, dog. We need to get back to our... Everybody fuck with everybody way. We need to get back to that. We need to get back to that, dog. The simp I'ma tell you what creates depression, right? And I learned this with dogs, right? Because I have dogs, right? I learned this with dogs, right? If you keep a dog inside the house and inside the kennel all the time, the dog don't want to do shit. The dog don't want to eat. The dog don't want to do nothing because it's not getting enough vitamin D. It's not getting enough energy from the sun. It's not getting enough energy from just being out. It's not getting enough air. Mentally, the dog just don't want to eat. You got to get a dog B12 shots and all type of shit. It just don't want to eat. It's the same thing with people. You got to get these motherfuckers out. We got to get out in the world. Out. Oh, you got to get out. Get out in the world. Take these walks. Breathe. Suck in the air. Listen to ambient sound. Oh, you got to get the fuck out. Yo, people are trapped, dog. We are literally trapped inside of our own way of believing that this is better for us. We got to get the fuck out. Get out. Get the fuck out out bro get out in the world get just get out get all the way out in the world even if it's just walk start just walks take walks people don't even take walks no more people don't even take walks no more just take a walk one simple walk dog is easy one walk, just take a fucking walk, dog. People don't walk no more. 
Bro, it's crazy. Dog, when you start taking walks, dog, you feel so fucking refreshing. You start taking walks, dog, you start going back to your natural ways of having fun and being one with the world. Dog, that shit feels so fucking good, bro. It feels so fucking good just walking, dog, walking. Put on some dope music on your headphones, dog, and take a stroll. Look at the world. See what's happening. Look at traffic. Look at people. Look at whatever happens. Just take a walk, dog. That shit is, I'm telling you, it's healthy. The problem is with depression and why depression is becoming an all-time high is we don't know how to be people no more. It's destroying us not to be people no more. Look, we got to learn how to be human, dog. They taking away our mobility. I want you to think about this. It's called a mobile phone. Right? It's called a mobile phone. But in all actuality, it's taking away people's mobility. It's smart. It's a very smart phone. It is designed to destroy. Mobile phone this is taking away all your mobility. People don't be mo. People are not mobile no more. People don't actually do nothing no more. People don't even go to the store no more to buy shit. People are now ordering people to bring shit to them. When I was a little kid, we had to walk to the grocery store and walk with the bags back home. Mom be like, go get us some milk. Some eggs, you feel me? All the heavy shit. Man, could you double? Remember having to tell the people in the store to double bag that? Because you had to walk home? Hey, let's go, Chris. Remember you had to tell somebody at the store, hey, could you, could you double bag that? Because, you know, I got to walk. Bruh. Look, man, niggas be Ubering shit that's walking distance. Like, yo, that shit a mile away. Nigga, I'm going to call an Uber. Like, what? Nigga, nigga, that shit is a 10-minute walk. Nigga, what you mean we going to call an Uber? Nigga, we walking. Niggas don't even walk no more. All this shit crazy. Look, bro. We got to get out of this fucking... We got to get out of this mentality of... Like, we got to get out of this mentality of just not being human no more, dog. They trying to turn niggas into machines, dog. We trying, we going to machines, dog. We got to start doing all the shit we did when we was a kid. Fuck all of this grown shit. Fuck all this fake-ass grown shit. Fuck all this technology. Fuck all this shit, dog. We got to start doing all the shit we was when we was a fucking kid, dog. We didn't have internet. We didn't even have none of this shit to look at. Although the internet has his, his good sides about it. The best part about the internet is now you can talk to people worldwide. You can speak to people worldwide. You can connect with people worldwide. You can learn information that you probably would have never learned based on the internet because you didn't have enough money to go to these places to learn this shit. You got to utilize the internet for what it's for. Right? But for the most part, a lot of people don't utilize the internet for what it's for. A lot of people use the internet completely wrong. Like a lot of people get online and type in depression. And and then they watch more people that was depressed. Then they watch, they listen to depressed music. They listen like, yo, bro, chill. Get the fuck out the house, man. That is the objective. Get the fuck out the house and learn how to laugh, learn how to enjoy life, learn how to fucking smile, learn how to fucking just enjoy life. Get out the house. Learn how to get the fuck out the house. Once you get out the house, and some people have anxiety, right? Some people get out the house and they have anxiety because they're scared of the real world. Look, man, when you got that type of anxiety, that's when you got to learn how to say, all right, this shit is World of Warcraft, nigga. I'm just doing whatever the fuck I want, nigga. So if you got anxiety, right, right, if you got anxiety and you feel like the world is too much for you to take because you outside, that's all you got to do. 
walk outside your house, right? find a heavy populated area, right? Find a heavy, look, let me tell you, this to help your anxiety. You find a heavy populated area where there's a bunch of people that live under the rules of the program, right? You walk in the middle of that circle. It reminds you, you got anxiety, though. But you walk in the middle of that circle all nervous, right? And you go. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Everybody, I'm like, oh, what the fuck wrong with him? You go. Uh-huh. Nigga, you just go out there and fake retarded, bro. It'd be the funniest feeling in the world because they don't know you smart, but they think you retarded. So then you're going to start laughing inside your own head. You're going to be like, yo, these niggas think I'm retarded. And then you're going to become even more retarded. Right? So you're going to be in the middle of the street. <laughs> Nigga, you could turn into Godzilla if you want to. People going to start running and all that. Nigga, people going to start running, dog. <laughs> people would literally run. Like, people would run from you. Like, you would literally be on the loose. You got to play with these fucking idiots, bro. This will fix your, this will fix everything, dog. You will literally be crying, dog. You be laughing your ass off inside your head, dog. Then mentally, you gonna feel big as Godzilla. So, nigga, you might, you fuck around, shoot a real fireball, you get too deep into the thinking. You know, yo, you can do whatever you put your mind to. So, if you might believe you Godzilla that much, nigga, you might fuck around, shoot a fireball, nigga. Bruh, you just gotta learn how to make yourself laugh. Learn how to make yourself laugh, dog. You walk into the middle of the fucking intersection. Not the intersection. You'll get your dumb ass ran over. I don't want nothing y'all did to get ran over. But still, you walk into the middle of motherfucking food for less or one of these grocery markets. Can you imagine walking into the grocery market, right? You about to pay for your stuff. Look, this is the thing. You just got to learn. You got to tap into your inner troll. You got you got to tap into your inner troll. So look, imagine you walk to the store, right? You go to the store, right? You slide all your motherfucking your things across the item, right? Your bill high as fuck. Your bill high as fuck, right? You're like, yeah, how much? How much is this gonna be? Yeah, sixty bucks. Uh, you look in your wallet, you go. Oh! Can you imagine just doing that to a cashier? Jim, wait, what? Dog, she gonna call the manager and all type of shit. She ain't gonna know what the fuck she is. She gonna press a little button. Oh, we, we need help on aisle 12. Oh, your manager gonna come on there. Then you talk regular to the manager. Uh, uh, what's the problem, sir? Um, you know, uh, apparently, like, I slid my card, but something didn't happen. I don't really know what happened. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, should I slide it again? And the manager is looking at, looking at you, then he looking at the employee, like, and she she can't tell him she can't tell him you just went crazy what's she gonna say that he just went retarded then you got a lawsuit on your head because she calling you retarded if she even if she even disrespect at one point you got a form of lawsuit you could take it the whole way to action wait what do you mean what are you talking about that's clearly offensive i that, that's offensive can you get the district manager in here now? I, I really don't appreciate the way your employees is talking to me. So boom, right now you got a whole case. Uh, everything happened, the nigga, the police coming, everybody coming, trying to figure out what happened. Boom, right? So they like, all right, well, we're going to run the tapes back, right? 
So when they run the tapes back and they see you on the tapes being retarded, right? Then when they finally look back at you, you got to get back in retarded mode. Oh, 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 oh. Man, then guess what's going to happen? They going to say, this nigga really crazy. He need to get a social security check. Like he need to get some type of check. Right? So then the police going to take you to the thing. They're going to say, man, we're going to get you some help. So then before you know it, you're going to be getting a check. You're going to get a clear disability check. Clear. And then you could go back to the store and pay for your groceries with the disability check that you just got for free. Look, you got to learn how to bluff this system, dog. You got to look. You listen to me. This what hell, dog. You got to learn how to bluff this system. Then you get your disability check. Then you go back to the store, to that same cashier, slide your little disability card, nigga. You good. Then you just look at her in her eyes like, I got all of y'all. Now I get to buy all these groceries for nothing. Yep. Listen to me. I'm telling you. It's a circle of life. You got to learn how to fuck. And tr you got to learn your inner troll, dog. Then you're going to go viral, right? You're going to see the video going to hit online. You're going to see the video going to hit online. Then everybody going to be talking about the one retarded nigga. Then it's going to be on America's Most Funniest Videos. All the shit going to happen. You're going to blow up. Boom. Then you make a new hit single. Yo, my boy just dropped his new hit single, Godzilla. Oh! Yo. Oh! Yo. Oh! Yo. Oh! Yo, oh, yo, oh, skr, skr, oh. Then you drop your new hit single, Godzilla. Lit. 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 Before you know it, you get in the bag from all type of ways, bro. You get in the bag. You gonna get the bag from every possible way ever. Right? Then when you get the bag, nigga, you gonna have nigga Godzilla t-shirts. You feel me, nigga? You gonna be on tour. You feel me, nigga? You gonna be everywhere. Oh, that's the Godzilla guy. Then other people gonna start doing it. Ah! Then before you know it, you gonna create your own language. Cause people gonna do it to you. Then you gonna do it. Ah! 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 Then everywhere you go. Everybody in the world going to be doing it to you. Then before you know it, nigga, you going to have a new species of people. Bro. I'm telling you, this how this shit works, bro. This how it works. Or you just got to let go. You got to let go of everything, bro. Let Put this shit into perspective. Let it go, bro. You got to learn how to tap into your inner troll. See, most people get depressed and they troll online. No, you can't troll online. That ain't going to help. You got to troll in the real world. You got to plug. Look, let's get back serious, right? There's only one way to beat the Matrix. You got to plug back in it. Neo and them couldn't fight this shit from outside. They got to plug back in it to fight this shit. You got to plug back into the Matrix, dog, and troll the fuck out of this video game. Plug back in. Go back into the real world and just fuck up the programs, dog. Go back into the real world and fuck up the programs, dog. Be the glitch. Become the fucking glitch. Get back in the program and glitch the fucking world. Glitch. You ever see how perfect and like perfect the world is? People don't never want to get out of character. Everybody in the single file line. Nah, bro. Nah. Nah, bro. Mm -mm. You got to get in this world and glitch it. Glitch this fucking world.
Let your dog learn how to glitch this fucking world, dog. You can wear whatever color you want. Why people think they can't wear colors? You wear whatever, nigga. You, nigga, go put on, nigga, neon, neon green. Nigga, you need to get a neon green jumpsuit, nigga, and walk up the street, nigga, like a regular person. Mm. Nigga, everybody, oh my God. Like, damn, bro, I'm just wearing a green suit. Like, what the fuck this guy? Do? Why y'all looking at me? This how fucked up the world is, because people are so stuck in a box that nobody want to do something different. Nobody want to do, everybody want to live by the rules and the law. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. You got to be the glitch. I want all my fans and all the people that's following me. You got to learn how to be the glitch, dog. Glitch game. Get out here and just be that one. That, be the nigga that everybody going to turn the cameras to. Like, oh, my God, look at this guy. You got to be that guy. Be that one that everybody going to turn the cameras to. Like, oh, shit. Because they so stuck in their own glitch that they don't want to do nothing outside of the, the fucking program. Dog. Get out. You don't got to do no stupid shit. You ain't got to rob nobody. You ain't got to shoot nobody. Nigga, just troll the real world. Get out here and troll the real world. Get out in the real world and troll the real world, dog. That's it. Get out here and troll the fucking real world. Just br don't break the laws, but break the rules, right? Like the laws, you're going to end up in jail breaking the law. Not just break the rules, like these little imaginary rules that was given to us. Right? Like, imagine walking to the grocery store with a hat that's like seven feet tall. Like a hat. Like a top hat. Like, get a top hat, but the top hat would be seven feet tall. Right? Just like, wear like a like a humongous hat. Like, imagine you wearing a hat this big. It's outside. Like, what's somebody gonna say to you? Nigga, this is my hat. The fuck do you mean? Nigga, I wear whatever the fuck I want. Nigga, ain't no limit to how big your hat could be. Nigga, you could wear an 18-foot hat if you want to. Ain't no fucking limit. Nigga, who the fuck says a hat limit? Ain't no motherfucking hat limit. Nigga, you crazy. Nigga, you wear the biggest hat you ever could buy. Nigga, I remember one time, nigga, I was dressed like Raiden for a whole month. I remember one time I locked into the Raiden character. Like, I'm like, nigga, you know what? I'm going to dress like Raiden this whole fucking month. Nigga, I don't fuck what nobody say. Nigga, I was dressed like Raiden, nigga. Nigga, I went to the cashier. Oh, yeah, it's going to be $17.99. She was like, what? Oh! Nigga, I just was making all Mortal Kombat sounds. Steve. The guy just making all Mortal Kombat sounds for the whole month, nigga. <laughs> you suck. Nigga, I was making all more, nigga. I, I swear to I had the hat, I had the clothing on, all that, full rated. Nobody couldn't tell me nothing, nigga. I was raiding for a whole fucking nigga for a whole month. You couldn't tell me that I wasn't raiding. There wasn't nothing you could tell me. My girl was like, man, you need to cut out this fucking carrot. Was... Mm -hmm. Nigga, I do my little fake disappear thing. Oh. Nigga try to disappear to the other room. She was like, man, cause my girl, she be tripping. Cause whenever I lock into a character, ain't no getting me out. When I lock in, I ain't no getting me out of character. There's nothing you can do to get me out of the character. I'm locked in until I get tired. You got to learn how to make yourself happy, dog. Nigga, I pull up to the drive through nigga. Roll the window down. Thank you for coming to, uh, motherfucking, uh, thank you for coming to, uh, uh, Wendy's. Uh, would you like to try it? Uh, oh! Excuse me?
Excuse me. Oh! Could you pull up to the front? Nigga, I'll pull up to the front, look to the side. Are you on her? And then just drive off. Nigga, do you understand? You have imprinted your mind. You have imprinted your face in a whole day. They will never stop thinking about you for the whole day. They finna go home and tell friends and family and all type of motherfuckers. This motherfucker, Raiden. Raiden came through the drive through today. Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Yes. Hell yeah. Raiden. But I be in character. I, I don't let when I get a character, I don't let up. You got to. You gotta fuck with this world, dog, cause the world will fuck with you. If you don't fuck with the world, the world will fuck with you. The world will try to kill you. If you don't fucking fuck with this world back, the world will fuck you up, dog. So you gotta wake up. Cause you, you gotta understand, the character that you in is technically a character already. This whole character of wearing clothes, you gotta think, somebody already gave you a character to run by. You didn't even get the pick. So the character of wearing clothes, the character of getting dressed, the character of buying uh, clothing from the store that someone else provided for you, the character of I gotta wear this, the character of I gotta match with this cause if I wear pink shorts with a green shirt that won't match and who the fuck said that matching means something anyway but like you already in a character so why not just create your own create your own fucking character right so boom I locked into the Raiden character right I locked in I locked into the character for a whole week it was fun right it was whole fun I ain't driving nowhere Nigga, I just came and sat in the car to give y'all the illusion of I'm possibly about to leave y'all really soon so y'all should get this information while y'all can before I drive away. But I'm clearly not. I'm about to get out the car and go back in the house. But I'm not driving anywhere. Um, That's just how my mind works. I understand, right? Imagery is everything. Um, But yeah, uh, you got to learn how to lock into the character get into the character get into your character create a character dog that's why I tell y'all y'all be like yo daylight be tripping sometimes man when I get into these characters it be the funnest shit known to mankind dog. when I get into these characters dog I lock all the way in they go I be crying inside of my head when I do these Vlad TV interviews I be literally inside of my head. I be crying, laughing, crying. I've learned how to separate them, though. I've learned how to separate what's happening in my head from my actual body, right? Kind of like astral projection, right? So, like, when I do these Vlad TV interviews, like my mind, my body lock into character. My mind be literally on the floor, though. I be dying, bro. I be on the floor, literally crying. Thought you ever look? You want to see a version of locking into character? Okay. Go watch Daylight versus T Rex. Right, Daylight versus T Rex. Go watch that. Just type in D A Y L Y T versus T Rex. I locked in the character. So amazing! It was amazing. Amazing. One of the greatest form of acting known to mankind. I need a motherfucking Grammy. A Oscar or whatever the fuck the motherfuckers call. Bruh. Look. We got 16 seconds left. I ain't getting back on. I ain't about to talk to y'all depressed niggas all day. But look. Find a motherfucking character, lock in, and fucking go fuck up the program, man. I love all of y'all niggas. Shouts out to you.